Hello. Um, I am 44 years old and I am blowing up happy birthday balloons. And this is the first chance that I have a girlfriend to blow up balloons for. It's her birthday tomorrow. Um, and she is working hard right now and so I'm relaxing but I wanted to do this for her and I've never blown these balloons up so I'm trying to figure that out even while I talk to you um, but I stick the straw in and blow and <laughs> blow this up and um, I think my lung capacity is small I think it's a lot of it has to do actually with training of muscles and how I was made to believe that my voice needed to be small not that I couldn't have a voice but it needed to be small and controlled and good as whatever good was defined and so this is the first year that I have a girlfriend to um, I've had boyfriends I've had husbands fiancés uh, but um, first time uh, with a girlfriend at age 44. We've been together over a year, but we weren't uh, like on that status uh, for quite some time after that. So first time. So I just wanted to invite you to tag along. Um, and this might seem silly to share like a moment like this, but I really, really, really believe in authenticity and that the more we are just ourselves, that we free other people to um, be free as well. And the crazy, th oh, the crazy thing is you can't predict where freedom is gonna lead you. Um, it's a discovery for the person that's even loving, living um, into that freedom and that authenticity. So to me, a key marker of somebody growing is that they're changing. If they're staying the same, then they're not growing. Um, because you're always changing, there is no staying the same. So I'm learning about thinking about that, but in general, this is what I do, kind of share these things. And um, I think I've been made, Charlie, come on, man. We've talked about this, you can go look, but no barking. Okay, we're all working on things. Um, But more stories like this need to be shared and there's, I've had a lot of loss to be able to share this story, which is crazy because it's like the best love of my life. Um, and it's not just the best, it just it like exceeds my wildest dreams. Um, and it's me as a woman loving a woman and I know without a shadow of a doubt that there's, like this is a holy love. There's nothing wrong with that, this love. There's nothing to condemn. It's expanding my mind and my capacity to love all the time. Um, she makes me want to be a better person. She literally does make me a better person just by her presence and her um, encouragement and steadiness and um, the way she serves me and loves me um, makes me realize that I haven't believed myself worthy of love and I've been going through the world that way and trying to make up for that lack of, lo lack of love, um, feeling loved by being good. So I hope by me sharing the story and being brave and do that, it, I'm flexing a muscle for me, um, but I also hope it's a beneficial uh, for you. All right, so I found this little hole, if you've never done this, and I'm really gonna get lightheaded. Okay, but I'm working on my lung capacity and having a voice, oh, okay. See, I don't even know how far it's supposed to go down. Oh, I think I'm in now, okay. I think I'm gonna lose this and there's only one. I'm not gonna put it so far down. I really, it just says, I didn't probably fully read it. Use enclosed straw gently and Blow to inflate, remove straw. See, <laughs> it's like, I could have done that really wrong. Um, okay. 
and I'm not going to inflate these because it says not to. Uh, is that what it says? Oh, do not over inflate. Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. I feel like this can't be good for you. I feel like there's stuff coming back in my mouth. <laughs> I'm going to want to figure out an alternate way to do this in the future. Um, I don't know if my bike pump can do this, but we should have adapters. This is not okay. So I learned a little bit there, like, only breathe out, like in the pool or the water, right? So it doesn't burn your mouth. So that was an H. This looks like another H. Are these all happy birthday? Okay, there's two H's in happy birthday. Okay. I'm not been scammed yet. Although I'm vigilant for that scamming and them trying to get me. Okay, two H's. Okay. I'm not good at this. First time. It feels like it blew a hole somewhere. Okay, I stuck it in more and I can still get it out. Okay. I just feel like they should just make this a little bit longer than that so I don't fear losing it in there. I'm sure. And instructions to not breathe the shit that's in here in. Just only blow, take a deep breath, blow out, take your mouth off the tube. <laughs> you know? I don't know what side of the blue thing I'm supposed to go on. This will be a miracle if it gets done. I just bent the straw. God bless the people that do these. They're moms, I'm sure. Ooh, almost all in one breath, and now it's deflating. That was impressive. I should do this all the time for breath training. I'm gonna pump these other ones up a little more. Does that mean you can go back and keep inflating these? That's why these last that long. I never knew. Boom! Oh, nice! Wow! I thought these were just like helium. I don't even know. They're not, they're a tethered down helium. That's what it seems like. Also got to be thinking about where to hang this. Maybe it could be like around the house and she has to solve it. I love it. That's it. Um, Cause I really don't know if there's a good place to display it. And I don't, I think I'll do a good job by myself, <laughs> but I can sit up with her. And I think she will like figuring out what's going on. So happy birthday. So happy is, is that five letters and birthday, and that's eight, so 13. So there'll be like at least two balloons in every room of our house. That's cool. Here we go. that one. I thought it was going to be all caps, but I love, I love it a little bit, but the, but the A is capitalized. Is that happy birthday? That's a P. That's a capital P. I'm not looking at the words happy birthday. I'm just trying to visualize this in my head and you can see the faulty visualization. So bent. You know how straws when you drink out of them get moist? This is getting moist. It's getting softer. We got another pee in the house. That breath was a little close to the hole with it open. I think that's not safe. So you can put in the comments um, what kind of things you think I'm going to get from breathing that in that 
particulate matter. It's interesting, I can't really tell what the letters are before I open them. The H I could, but this one's... Do you know what that is? Is it the Y? see the R, I didn't see that connection there. I was like, is there a U in happy birthday? <laughs> looks like it's a U. That's a Y and a Y. Happy birthday. Yeah, two Ys. My spelling game is strong. I came in third place in my third grade spelling bee. I was, and I was not <laughs> homeschooled in third grade. That would be amazing if I came in third place while I was homeschooled because there were three of us for the first year and then two, the last two, so I would have been like third, I would have been like <laughs> more places than there are people. The Y is very satisfying. It's like a slingshot. You know what? I have never been into these kind of things because it's so wasteful. And I don't like wasting. And because I don't like wasting, I've had a hard time celebrating, honestly. So it's frugality, but on the Christian side, I don't have to be limit consumption and worry about the earth. I don't get it. If overconsumption is bad for my physical body, then it's probably bad for other natural things as well. It blew out, it kind of into my mouth. But I didn't inhale, I didn't inhale. So. You hear that coming out? It's not right. It's flattening. I might have broke this one. Well, I don't, I have no idea how this works and what side it's supposed to go on, but so far they are bigger than they were when they start and they've been staying in that bigger size and they, you know, they feel pretty taut, um, turgid. I don't know if you can be turgid based on air. I think turgidity has to do with fluid. And it could, it would be nice if it said which side the blue thing to be on in here and show you. The J, no, birthday, a C. <laughs> what letter is this? I see, I breathed in by the, <sighs> okay. Now I'm getting a bit of resistance back. Is this the B? <gasps> That's cool how it overlapped. It's like two elephant tusks. Not tusks, trunks. Okay, so let me see. So the ties are gonna be on the top if we do eventually put it up. This looks like a D. No, I haven't held it. And then on the bottom side, there's, you know, it's just like one color on one side, and then there's like this little hole in the, or like circle, and then it actually is a hole, but then there's this blue thing. I don't know which side of the blue thing to press on, and sometimes it doesn't matter because it just goes in, and other times. Um, I don't know if I'm ripping it, breaking it, and going in the wrong side. And that's been some of the confusion. I haven't been keeping track. It looks like we've got at least seven done. So that would leave six more, if it's 13. I just counted in my head again while I was blowing up, and I believe it's 13. All right, so I'm getting, I think we can go a little faster. I'm not getting too, like, I'm going to fall over and pass out. So. T. Because there's two, no, there's only one, only in birth. The spelling thing is hard. It's visualizing. And this is like an O. 
put it solid. There's an exclamation point. Maybe there's an exclamation point in this, so then I have 14 or 15 then, because I'll have to get the dot on the bottom. Tricky is, the timing is tricky. Did you see that one where I had thought it was going to go in and took the deep breath and then I had to wait because <laughs> I was still getting it in while I was holding my breath? These, you got to use a lot of safety when doing this, you don't do it right. Well. And A is a big uh, letter, I think. I think that's what I should feel good about. Is this getting softer? I don't know. I don't know if there's a little dot for the... If that is an exclamation point. Let me see. It's not. It's not an exclamation point. It's the I. Uh, <clears throat> and this is for ages. Three plus, so I barely made it. Um, makes one. Okay, so now I'm gonna give them a little scramble around the house. Are you finding things? It's telling you to come right by here. <laughs> come right here. Okay, where did it tell you to go after that? Oh, over yeah. there. It told me to go right there. Oh. Do have to keep them over there? I don't know. It's here. You're gonna have to decide if you can solve it. <laughs> How are you gonna solve it? You can have your own strategy. Okay. And while she's doing that, I'm recording our old Bumble post. So I can <laughs> sign up a Bumble. Okay. One year later. Okay, how are we doing? Good, baby. It says happy burr. Burr, a happy burr. Oh, because it led you into here and what's in there? Mm -hmm. Happy bird! Oh, what's a happy bird? What does that mean? Happy Bert. Happy Bert. Oh, Bert. Mm, yummy, baby. Some cupcakes somebody else bought for you that I put out <laughs> anytime, baby. Yum. And a cupcake sounds good to me today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Best gifts are the ones that you're excited about, too. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's so true. And happy Bert. Happy Bert. <gasps> Oh, oh. Okay, where did it lead you to go? Into the laundry. It led you into the laundry room. It okay. Did. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is a problem. Let's see. Oh. Did she find anything in there? Get the trick. That was a trick. Oh man, because the, the T was right in. there. And then in here. In the refrigerator, probably. How does it look in there? Nope. No. Over here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <She's> so... <gasps> I found it. Wait, happy bird? Happy bird. Bird. Oh, okay. It's, it's <gasps> interesting. Bird da. Bird da. <laughs> happy bird day. Happy bird Happy bird day. She might have missed one. That would help with the pronunciation, but. I wonder where it could have been. Happy birthday. Bye, everybody. <laughs> mm -hmm.